Purple Eagle Award Show. Please welcome to the stage your host, Tiffany Corselli and Sean Warner. Okay, good evening everyone, and welcome to the third annual Purple Eagles Award. Thank you, Father Herbert. Mm -hmm. Tonight we honor the amazing people who have entertained us and played their heart out all year. All the nominees tonight have given it their all the entire year, and tonight we recognize their dedication, hard work, character, and determination. Wow, I'm a little sweaty. A little off-season practice doesn't work out for me, but um, you know, Tiff, before we continue, I have, a little, I have a little feeling that there's some confusion and tension in the room, so I'm just gonna address it right now. I think all of you are wondering, why in the hell is he co-hosting? He's a male swimmer and all he does is walk around in a Speedo. They could have picked anybody at Niagara University. T. Payne, Thomas Burns, Jerry Orfano back there in the softball. But they asked, that, they asked me, but don't get me wrong, I can't even believe they're asking me to co-host through all the Love, hate, harassment, success. Simon and the rest of the athletic department just wants to give me one last hurrah. <laughs> but before, I want, before we start the show, I just want everyone to know that we do not intend to be edgy or offensive because coming from someone who's speaking from experience, it just ends with counseling and coupons of free McNuggets. <laughs> Shout out to Seton Hall Basement and their services. Well, thanks for joining me on my second appearance. It was an amazing year for the Purple Eagles. Men's basketball beat the Dirty Griffs twice. Alex, yeah, clap it up, that's a good thing. <laughs> Alex Stone became the all-time leader in blocks for NU. Yeah. Softball defeated Syracuse for the first time in school history. Men's baseball lost to men's swimming at the first annual SAC Olympics in tug of war. <laughs> Women's lacrosse won their first playoff game since 2003. And men's hockey defeated defending champions RIT. And those are just a couple of things we have done this year. So many amazing plays this year and it was fun to watch. There are so many awards to give out tonight, like Coach of the Year, Comeback Player of the Year, Newcomer of the Year, Faculty of the Year, just to name a few. But sadly, there's no most likely to go pro anymore. I know it's upsetting, but last year I guess there was only allowed one person to win, and he didn't, so he transferred to Duquesne. We are all in for an exciting night. But before we begin the awards, Sean and I would like to thank all the SAC representatives, administration, AD Simon Gray, but especially Steve Butler for putting this whole thing together. Yes, thank you, Steve, for inviting us all to this wonderful outing. And thank you, Simon, for not cutting any of our programs to save money for a field house or a track. Now let's get to the first award of the night, the Coach of the Year. To the coach that has helped his slash her team go above and beyond the NU Athletics goal, win more than one game in a season, and make our athletes grow and compete at the top level in college athletics. And the, and the nominees are... Coach of the Year. Christine Kloiber, cross country and track and field. Rob McCoy, baseball. Villas Ozold, Volleyball. Ben Nigro, Swimming and Diving. Wendy Stone, Lacrosse. This award 
is a direct reflection of an awesome young man that I get to coach, so thanks. Here to present our next award, the Community Athlete of the Year, is Hannah Balski Sam Brook. Community Athlete of the Year, Jordan Bender, Men's Cross Country. Samantha Brill, Lacrosse. Tiffany Corselli, Women's Basketball. Allison Amborski, Women's Golf. Felipe Quintes, Men's Tennis. Maggie Gerard, Joel Gerberich, Men's Soccer, Caroline Hampton, Women's Cross Country, Tuesday Jordan, Women's Soccer, Sarah March, Softball, Nicole Mathis, Volleyball, Tanner Mori, men's swimming and diving. Kevin Patterson, hockey. Stella Peshakova, women's tennis. Jeff Sito, baseball. Brianna Smith, women's swimming and diving. Daniel Weimer, men's golf. Thanks, Kevin. Our university prides itself on helping our local community, and that's what makes our university so special. This award is given to the athlete or team that has made the most outstanding play during the 2016-2017 athletic season. The nominees are... Play of the Year. <laughs> Tiffany Corselli's game-tying three-pointer against Canisius in the MAC tournament to send the game into overtime. Greg Cullen's Grand Slam versus Marshall. Matt Scott scoring his 1,000th career point on a three-pointer. Women's swimming 200-meter free medley relay team taking third place at the National Championship. Batista Pedesert's overtime game-winning goal at Quinnipiac. Tiffany Corselli making the game-winning goal.
Did you see my three? It was amazing. Oh my God. Those were like amazing ESPN top 10 words you played. If I do so, you can so, so, ah. If I do say so myself. Congratulations to everyone's hard work and stellar performances. Well, anyway, on to the next award, Male and Female Scholar Athlete. This award is presented to Niagara's top graduating senior, male and female student athlete, who has a 3.5 GPA or higher. Enrolled at Niagara for at least four semesters and was a major contributor or significant reserve. And the nominees for the women are Corey Thorne, women's soccer. <laughs> Chanel Ward, softball. And the winner is Chanel Ward. Scholar Athlete of the Year, male nominees. Fabrizio Chiari, men's soccer. Christopher Fritchie, men's swimming and diving. Kevin Patterson, hockey. Community Team of the Year. Baseball. Cross Country. Lacrosse. Swimming and Diving. Volleyball. And the winner is baseball. That's baseball here to present the award for the highest team GPA for men's and women is Riley Hunt. This award is presented to the department's male and female teams earning the highest cumulative GPA, and the nominees for the women are... Highest team GPA, female nominees. Women's golf. Women's soccer. Women's swimming and diving. The highest GPA is women's soccer. Hey, girl. 
Congrats. And the nominees for the men are Highest Team GPA, Male Nominees, Baseball, Men's Cross Country, Men's Tennis, team with the highest GPA is men's cross country. I'd just like to say my team is not only super good looking, but really smart. <laughs> what a bunch of smart cookies we have here at NU. I just want to commend both teams on being able to run so much without getting tired. Next, I would like to welcome Joel Gerbich to the stage to present the Newcomer of the Year Award. This award, is that, this award is for the freshman or transfer student athlete that has excelled during their first year as a Purple Eagle. And the nominees are... Newcomer of the Year. Khalil Dukes, men's basketball. Hannah Charlton, women's swimming and diving. Haley Bicknell, women's soccer. Madison May, volleyball. Lauren Paul, lacrosse. And the winner is Khalil Dukes. Oh, the yeah, I just want to say, uh, glory to God. Uh, without God, this wouldn't be possible. I want to thank my teammates, my coaches, and my main man, Johnny Munns, for keeping me healthy all season. Congratulations on a great achievement, and we all look forward to seeing you play in the next years to come. You will be playing for the next two years here, right, Khalil? Here to present the next award is the Queen of Blocks, Alex Stone. Let's give her a warm welcome. Okay. Sorry guys, I don't really have a voice, but uh, this award is for, t oh shoot, this is not right, all right. <laughs> Rewind. Team of the Year award goes to the male or female team with the most successful season during the 2016 to 2017 season. And the nominees are. Team of the Year. Swimming and diving. Lacrosse. Volleyball. Women's soccer. Men's tennis. And the winner is women's lacrosse. Hi, we just want to say thank you to our coaches and our teammates and to come to our game on Friday at Canisius at 8 p.m. <laughs> Congrats, girls, on an amazing season. It was fun to watch you guys succeed this year, especially in the first round of playoffs against Monmouth. The next award is the best season start for the spring sports, and it will be presented by the speedy Ryan DeLola.
This award is given to a spring sport who is off to a great start in the 2016 season. And the nominees are... Best season start, spring sports. Baseball. Lacrosse. Softball. And the winner is baseball. Man, I, I get stage fright every time I come up here. So yeah. <laughs> um, just, we have a great group of guys this year. It's really fun playing with them. And uh, we just got to keep it going in the max. So uh, I'll be back up here in a little bit. <laughs> Up next to present is a fan favorite, Jerry Orfano and Sarah Marsh. Thank you, Jerry, for uh, taking out of time your busy schedule to present with us. And Sarah. Individual Performance of the Year Award is given to the best individual performance, male or female, during the 2016-17 season. And the nominees are... Individual Performance of the Year. Sean Warner, Men's Swimming and Diving. Julia Casalo, Women's Swimming and Diving. Kaylee Strumpel, women's basketball. Matt Scott, men's basketball. Alexis Morales, lacrosse. And the winner is Kaylee Strumpel. I just want to say thank you, especially to my teammates and coaches and Heather and just everybody who comes out to sports uh, to support all the other teams. Thank you. What a group of athletes. These athletes are proud to represent Purple and give their 110% every day. Congrats, Kaylee, on this accomplishment. This year, we decided to do something new and recognize our seniors during the show. If you are part of the four sports and you are a senior, please come up at this time.
Congratulations to all the four sports seniors. Don't worry, winter and spring sports seniors, your time is soon. Our next presenter to the stage is Khalil Dukes, AKA Mr. Love Exists. The Purple Pride Award goes to the extremely outgoing male and female athlete that is most supportive of other teams and are never afraid to show his or her Purple Pride. And the nominees for the women are... Purple Pride Award. Female nominees. Alex Stone, Volleyball. Caroline Hampton. Women's Cross Country. Morgan Genovese, Women's Soccer. Julia Casolo, Women's Swimming and Diving. Kaylee Strumpel, Women's Basketball. And the winner is Caroline Hampton. I just wanted to say thank you. I'm definitely gonna miss my time and you coming to an end, but thank you to my coaches, teammates, and just everybody in the athletic community. Thank you. The male nominees are Purple Pride Award. Male nominees. Sean Warner, men's swimming and diving. Andrew Wilson, men's swimming and diving. Kevin Patterson, hockey. Joel Gerberick, men's soccer. Drew Francisco, men's soccer. And the winner is Joel Gibbard. Just to, just to clear the air, um, my last name is Gerberick. Uh, it's a challenging one, but um, I just want to shout out Drew because he's probably, I don't know, probably more deserving of this award than I am, but um, I appreciate it. Uh, but he really is a true fan. Thank you, guys. Congratulations, Caroline and Joel. Your support for other teams are much appreciated and set an awesome trend for our athletes support each, to support each other. The next award is the Comeback Athlete of the Award. It will be presented by my amazing friend who has overcome a season in injury last year and has came back stronger than ever. She's last year's winner and always has a smile on her face, the one and only Professor Corey Thorne. This award goes to the athlete that has had to overcome adversity and has come back better than ever athletically. And the nominees are... Comeback Athlete of the Year. Cody Eckerson, Baseball. Riley Hunt, Volleyball. Tuesday, Jordan, women's soccer. Amy McNally, lacrosse. 
Victoria Rampato, women's basketball. And the winner is Riley Hunt. I want to thank, obviously, my team and my coaches, but most importantly, um, my trainers, Carol and Diana, and then um, our strength coach, Matt, as well. Thanks for letting me hang with you all summer. Congratulations to these nominees on coming back from all their injuries this past year. You inspire all of us and remind us that no matter what obstacles we may face, the opportunity to conquer it and succeed is there. Our next presenter will be Aaron Clark. The Unsung Hero Award goes to one athlete on each team that excels in their sport and shows up ready to perform to their fullest potential at all times. When you hear your name, please come up, and the winners are... Unsung Hero. Ava Bachman, Women's Soccer. Chris Barton, Men's Basketball. Peter Battaglia. Baseball. Selena Serra, women's golf. Julia Freemeyer, women's cross country. Maggie Gerard, track and field. Joel Gerberick, men's soccer. Nick Farmer, hockey. Nicole Mathis, Volleyball. Tanner Mori, men's swimming and diving. Christian Nizamis, men's golf. Taylin Ozdemir, men's tennis. Marvin Proche, men's basketball. Sansridi Rajan, women's tennis. Brianna Smith, Women Swimming and Diving. Kaylee Strumpel, Women's Basketball. Hannah Voss, Lacrosse. Chanel Ward, Softball. Matt Whitworth, Men's Cross Country. The next award we'll be presenting is the Upset of the Year Award, which is given to the team producing the best upset on the behalf of NU Athletics during the 2016-2017 season. And the nominees are... Upset of the Year. Baseball handing 12th ranked Virginia its first loss of the season. Hockey defeating RIT in the Atlantic Hockey Tournament first round. Men's basketball sweeping the season series with Canisius. Men's swimming defeating Colgate. Volleyball outlasting Quinnipiac in five sets. And the winner is baseball versus number 12, Virginia. Third time's a charm, right? Uh, just a lot of hard work and preparation goes uh, behind the scenes. Uh, we have a great team this year again. <laughs> <laughs> um, just I can't I can't wait to get to Max and keep keep the keep keep it going with these guys. Just keep playing with you. 
Wow, in my opinion, it's a five-way tie. Baseball being the number 12 team in the country, hockey defeating the defending champs RIT in dramatic fashion, basketball being those kids across the bridge twice, swimming defeating Colgate after losing previously by just two points, and volleyball defeating undefeated and number one ranked Quinnipiac. Congrats to everyone. Now at this time, we would like to recognize our winter sports seniors. So basically, whoever didn't come up in the first time, just go ahead and come up. Next, we would like to bring to the stage Trevor and Greg to present our Best Team Player Award. This award goes to the athlete with the great team spirit and always puts the team first person that teammates look up to and can always count on. And the nominees are... Best Team Player. Julia Casolo, Women's Swimming and Diving. Joel Gerberich, Men's Soccer. Emily Granruth, Women's Basketball. Jeff Cito, baseball. Sarah Trifoso, softball. And the winner is Jeff Cito. Um, thanks. Uh, we have a really good team this year, as Greg said. But no, thank you, and to all the other nominees as well. Good job. Congrats, and thank you for all the support that you show. Up next, I would like to welcome to the stage Sierra and Bridget. This award goes to the team that has been most supportive of all the other teams on campus. And the nominees are... Athletes for Athletes. Baseball. Men's Soccer. Swimming and Diving. Tennis. Volleyball. And the winner is swimming and diving. <laughs> I'm supporting you all. Uh, good job on all the great seasons and good luck in the playoffs. Thank you.
Congrats on an amazing accomplishment. The constant support is very appreciated. It makes for a fun, exciting, and friendly atmosphere. The next award is presented to a non-student athlete who has demonstrated his or her work behind the scenes and has a tremendous dedication and pride in Niagara Athletics. Athletic staff are not eligible for this award. And the nominees are... Purple Eagle Award. Taylor Bosket, Ticket Office. Aaron Cronin, Women's Basketball Team Manager. Josh Dumbleton, Athletic Operations. Sean Gillen, Athletic Communications. The winner of this award has been one of my closest friends since the first day of orientation. From the very first day, this girl's dedication and passion for NU athletics was soaring, and since then has gone to a limit that will surely be hard to top. Her hard work has gone unnoticed, hasn't gone unnoticed. Her behind the scenes work, helping with game day preparation, ticket sales, crowd control, managing women's basketball, attending and supporting all the athletes here while still maintaining her personal life and academics are just a few of her many jobs she has excelled in. Without you and the rest of NU athletics staff, us athletes would not be able to perform at our highest level. And the winner is one of my closest and best friends, Aaron Cronin. I want to thank everyone, <laughs> especially women's basketball. It was so fun this year. Thank you so much. <laughs> and lastly, we like to recognize our spring sports seniors. Thanks, everybody. Up next, I would like to bring Steve Butler to the stage to present the Comeback Win of the Year Award. Comeback of the year is an award given to the team that's overcame a significant deficit during a contest to ultimately prevail and win, obviously. So, and the nominees are? Comeback win of the year. Men's basketball's late run to defeat Ryder. Hockey scoring three goals in the final four minutes to defeat RIT 5-4. Volleyball rallying from a set down twice to beat Quinnipiac. Men's soccer scoring two goals in the final nine minutes to top Fairfield 2-1. to one. Softball rallying from three runs down to beat Cleveland State on February 12th.
And the winner is men's hockey in playoffs. Well, we didn't have the greatest team this year, but uh, <laughs> we appreciate the award. And also shout out to Jerry for taking some heat tonight. So the boys appreciate it. Thank you. Wow, got to love me some comebacks. Wow, who writes this stuff? That was us. Oh, but anyways, congrats on the victory. Super exciting. Up next, we have the Tap Gallagher Award. This award goes to a member of each sport program at NU that embodies the best sportsmanship on the team. Q winners. Oh, I was Taps Gallagher Sportsmanship Award. Selena Sarah, Women's Golf. Aaron Clark, Track and Field. Sophie Connor, Women's Soccer. Charlie Deshmook, Women's Tennis. Felipe Fuentes, Men's Tennis. Emily Granruth, Women's Basketball. Zulfikar Karimi, Men's Soccer. Belle Leon, lacrosse. Alex Moore, softball. Steven Pietrobon, hockey. Dominic Robb, men's basketball. Jeff Cito, baseball. Ben Slate, men's cross country. Alex Stone, Volleyball. Montana Valor, Women's Swimming and Diving. Sean Warner, Men's Swimming and Diving. Daniel Weimer, Men's Golf. Emily Welton, Women's Cross Country. Congrats on an amazing achievement. Up next, I'd like to ask our very own SAC representative advisor to come to the stage, Jessica Wheeler. I'm here to present the Purple Heart Award. This award is presented by SAC to a male and female student athlete who embraced the Vincentian spirit that Niagara was founded upon and most exemplify what it is to be a Purple Eagle through one's contributions on and off the field. Purple Heart Award winners. Are Tiffany Corselli and Tanner Mori. I just have to shout out to my mom because she's watching this. Hi, mom. Um, and to my teammates and my coaches, to the, everyone at NU, thank you. Um, you guys, guys made this possible for me. And shout out to God, I mean, the man upstairs, he has helped me get this far, so thank you. Congrats, guys, and thank you for everything you've done this year. Thanks, Sean. This next award is new to the award show. I would like to bring up my good friends and teammates, Victoria Rampato and Emily Granroof. The Faculty Appreciation Award is an award chosen by the student athletes and presented to the faculty member who they believe show the most support to their respective teams. Oh. <laughs> The Faculty the first Appreciation Award. of the Award. Faculty Appreciation Award is the one and only Professor Nanette Harmon. <laughs> Professor Harmon cannot be with her, us tonight, so we're going to accept the award on her behalf. Congrats, Professor Harmon. Our next award will be presented by Father O'Malley. This award is presented to a male or female student athlete who is in good academic standing and has demonstrated outstanding athletic performances and accomplishments 
And the women's nominees are... Vincent O'Malley, Student Athlete of the Year. Female nominees. Sierra Bertrand, Softball. Riley Hunt, Volleyball. Rachel McShane, Lacrosse. Stella Peshakova, Women's Tennis. Victoria Rampato, Women's Basketball. And the winner is Rachel McShane. Um, I guess I just wanted to say uh, thank you to my coaches and um, and you for giving me the opportunity, and most importantly, my teammates. And the male nominees are? Male nominees. Tanner Kerwer, baseball. Matt Scott, men's basketball. Chris Spriggs, hockey. Sean Warner, Men Swimming and Diving. Conrad Zidowitz, Men's Soccer. And the winner is Sean Warner. Um, thanks for thanks Tiffany for reminding me. Shout out to my parents for watching um, and all uh, 42 of my teammates over there. Thanks for pushing me every single day in and out of the water. Uh, my coaches, you guys did an amazing job. Um, yeah, go Eagles. Sean, come in. What? Sean, God bless you. Congratulations. Thank you. The Believe NU Award. And now to present the Believe NU Award, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the Director of Athletics. Simon Gray. Good evening, everybody. Once again, one of the best nights of the year. I'd like to give a special thank you to members of our university leadership that have joined us tonight, members of the President's Cabinet, faculty athletics representative, and some of our Vincentians. Father Marr does extend his uh, uh, well wishes for tonight. Unfortunately, he's out of town or he would have been with us tonight, but we all know how tremendously supportive he is and also our leadership. So thank you so much for all that you do to make us a tremendously successful Division I Athletics Department. How about a round of applause for our MCs? Where's Jerry Ann? I'd understand if you didn't clap there, so no problem. Okay, you're excused. How about Riley Hunt working so, far and so hard here in the back? And all of our SAC Awards Show Committee, we thank them so much for all of the hard work that they put in. There's a lot, a lot of work that goes into making this night such a success. I also want to thank Brianna, Joe, and Derek from our PR office who spent countless hours putting the videos together and making um, the broadcast happen. Also, Haley Besaw from our office, the Purple Eagle herself. <laughs> Steve Butler, and then Jessica Wheeler, folks that you all know very well have worked incredibly hard. And how about one last, last round of applause for our seniors? Congratulations. We will certainly miss you, but are so appreciative for all that you've done to lay the groundwork for future success. So it's my pleasure every year to hand out the Believe in You Award. And this award goes to a student athlete who has best exemplified what it means to believe in our athletics department and believe in our university. 
And this year, uh, many stellar folks that were considered, uh, just the accomplishments are tremendous for all of our student athletes, but uh, someone that really, in my opinion, took full advantage of her experience at Niagara University. She was not only a team captain, but she was an officer in student government. She's blogged for our university. She represented us at the NCAA National Student Athlete Leadership Forum. Multiple honor societies, has led her team on several occasions. But really, you know, someone that day in and day out, I think all of us would recognize has loved this university and has taken advantage of every single opportunity that was put before her. Next year, she'll be working in Teach for America as a multilingual instructor in the Buffalo Public Schools. And to cap it all off on her final putt of her collegiate career, she sank it from 50 feet. This year's Believe NU Award winner, Selena Sarah. Wow, thank you. <laughs> Sorry, I'm crying. Okay. Um, thank you to our coach. This is his first year ever, and he got us our first program win. I wanted to throw that out there. Thank you, Coach Polka. Please clap. <laughs> um, I also just really want to thank my teammates. We had a really awesome year, especially with the coaching transition. Um, NU is my favorite place to be, and I will be so sad to leave it. <laughs> Thank you so much, Simon, and everyone else, and congratulations to all the winners here tonight. I had a great first year and last time I'm seen. Too bad I can't do it again next year. Next year, if we really want a lit event, maybe we should ask Jerry. Thank you, and you, for allowing me to host again. It's been a great four years. I think we're done. Yeah, we're done. <laughs>